welcome to the very first Minus World podcast. All five of you. I'm your host, Mike, and joining me tonight are Chris the Crazy Irishman and Ramon the Ravenous. Gentlemen. <laughs> Gen- gentlemen, how are you this fine evening? Good, good. Let's good. talk about these VGAs. Yeah, how about them I, VGAs? I, I heard it was a pretty big deal. Yeah, yeah. so uh, Ramon, uh, who, who showed up to the VGAs? Oh, we already know Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel, no, you you forgot one. Samuel L. Motherfucking Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. He was all over this thing. He was everywhere. Like, like he, like it, it felt like the Samuel L. Jackson show after a while. No, it, felt, <laughs> it was all funny though. He had some of the best gaming outtakes I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, they they had they put him in they put him in like every game like they put him in <laughs> Halo, they put him in Halo Four. They he was he was in Black Ops. He, they even they even gave Minecraft. him a Minecraft segment like that. I applaud you, gentlemen. I applaud you. If 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 you YouTubers look up anything from this VGA, you must look up Samuel O. Jackson in Dishonored. That was one of the funniest things I have ever seen. We, we're not gonna spoil it, so boy. Yeah. Every single year, we have to suffer through the most embarrassing things ever of this game. Like last year, remember the remember the uh, virtual reality sets we've had endure in the past. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, those are gone. I, I'm very happy they just went with a straight up like award set this year. How about how about you two guys? What what's your what's your take on the on their new little set there? I, I really like the way they did things this year. It felt more like a like a legitimate award show. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yep. And uh how about you, Ramon? Yeah. I liked it especially. Samuel Jackson made it real funny. Yep. Yep. Some yep. good reviews. Alright. Reviews. Yep. Alright. There there's two people here that that just kinda made me sad inside. You, you, two of you are gonna be, are gonna go like, what are you talking about for the one? But I don't think you can disagree with the other one. Yeah, just, I don't believe Jessica Alba ever played Super Mario Brothers for uh, one second. Well, she's about as you know, she she falls in our age group. So you know, when she was a little girl, man, she might have had a Nintendo. You don't exactly. know. She might have had one, but the way she was speaking about, it, I definitely didn't believe she did. Come on. <laughs> everybody plays Super Mario Brothers. Everybody. Yeah, it's, uh, every, everybody played that game. Even if she did play it, I don't think the way she got up there and said those lines, it sounded like they had a gun to her head. Yeah. Like, you're not appearing in the, in the next movie if you didn't don't say this line. <laughs> but yeah. And uh, also, human annoyance, Marlon Wayans. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> His new movie's gonna be funny. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I'm I'm very difficult to impress when when a Wayne's is involved, unless it's Dungeons and Dragons. Th- then you get a pass. <laughs> All right. I I don't really like to put biased opinions on the internet, but I really th- I, I I like D and D. I love it. Dungeons and Dragons was a terrible movie. <laughs> it was, but it's riffing gold. Now, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. How about we how do we get back on track? Uh, let's let's. There was a very uh, controversial game of the year winner this year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to put it lightly, but yeah, let, that let's. Was insane. Yeah. So so yeah. Let's let's name off the let's name off the nominees real quick. So so we had Mass Effect Three, Journey. We had Dishonored. We had Assassin's Creed 3, and we had Walking Dead, the game, the Telltale Games, which I honestly thought would be the Dark Horse, but but they swept this year. Yeah, they, they're like, insane. Yeah, they, and they, what, one of the points they brought up that was it was kind of funny to me was player choice, and I think Mass Effect would have like just shadowed, you know what I mean, like... Mass Effect was all about choices. A Mass Effect three, it's musical scores, voice yeah. acting, graphics, everything came together in this perfect little package. That just 
That just and, set me off, man. Yeah, it was like, amazing. Like, like, like not, not even that didn't win Game of the Year, but it wasn't even like it wasn't even nominated for Best Original Score. It got Best RPG. That's all Mass Effect Three got this year. That's the. I mean, what 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 kind of what kind of ticked you off about this week, Ramon? Uh, let's see, other than Game of the Year, uh, oh. yeah. well, best shooter, but I'm I'm biased though because I'm a Halo fan, <laughs> so you I can't really say about really that. Really irked me, kind of rubbed me the wrong way. It didn't really rub me the wrong way, but I don't know. It didn't make much sense to me that a stealth RPG got action adventure game of the year. You're talking about Dishonored? Yeah, Dishonored won action game of the year. Well, it did have a lot of action in it, though. But it didn't really have that much of a competition. I don't really... I haven't played Dark Souls 2 that much, so oh, I don't I really know that. about that. Sleep of Dogs was a good game, but I knew it wasn't going to win. I That's think Creed 3. Yeah. That, I really think that would have been action game of the year. What, Sleeping Dogs? Sleeping Dogs is a very good game, actually. Yeah, it was. Very it's underrated, under- though. Yeah, very yeah that's, that's a... That, that's another one on my list. <laughs> we actually got a chance to play it early at a Comic Con this year, and I was I picked up the controller. I was like, "Wow!" Because believe it or not, Sleeping Dogs is actually true crime Hong Kong, but Square Enix had bought the rights to the game, and they finished it, but they couldn't use the true crime name, so they yeah. had to come up with their own name. Gentlemen, so came up with Sleeping did, Dogs. Did you know <laughs> that in Sleeping Dogs? You can, in fact, stuff a guy's face into an air conditioning unit. Yeah. <laughs> how could, how did that not win? My be- <laughs> my favorite takedown is the phone booth drop kicks. That was my favorite. But Throw yeah. a guy to a phone booth and just drop kick him into it. But yeah, as far as Dishonored winning best action adventure game, I was under the impression that you didn't have to play it like a stealth game, like whatsoever. I you, didn't. You could, yeah, you could just run in there, guns blazing, just gutting people with the knife, devouring people with rats, just go all out bloodbath. <laughs> you, you could, but you know, like it's just, it's more of an RPG. Well, well, there's the well, let's, let, yeah, but yeah, but looking at the competition, uh, I didn't really feel very strongly about Assassin's Creed Three, and and I, I haven't played Sleeping Dogs yet, but Dark Side. <laughs> Of Assassin's Creed Three, how about that trailer premiere? <laughs> yeah, the yeah, set. there was yeah they King they George. <laughs> they premiered a trailer for their DLC packs, King George, where they posed the question: What what happened if uh, King George was a megalomaniacal uh, jackass? I guess. Well, yeah, I think we should. I think that should be our next topic before before I get more into all these uh, <laughs> these award categories that will make me rage to no end. Let's get into those, get into those trailers. Well, we all knew Assassin's Creed; they were going to have another game. Yeah, yeah, Why? they were going to. That's their, that's Ubisoft's cash cow. They're not going to stop. They're never... They went a weird direction with this one, in my opinion. But I'm really interested in playing it, so it worked. <laughs> the, the, yeah, yeah. Hey, how about that Dark Souls trailer? Oh, oh Dark God. Souls too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they dropped the bomb that they're making a sequel to Dark Souls, which itself is a secret sequel to Demon Souls. Or how yeah. about that really creepy, confusing trailer? Oh, yes. What was it called? Um, yeah, it was the Phantom Pain. The Phantom Pain. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. It, it it started off in kind of it looked like a, like a quarantine hospital maybe or like a vet hospital. Yeah, and, and the, yeah. You wake up. You don't. You you don't have an arm anymore. You have a hook, and and your character that you play as is just sitting there, just trying to crawl his way through this huge hospital that's under this crazy like military quarantine. Everyone getting shot up. And, and don't forget the whale. Oh my god! Yeah, the yeah the whale like just just popped out of nowhere, ate this dude, and oh my god! I sound like a twelve year old on. On, a, on an energy drink, which I am on, actually. Yeah, but, it sounds like we're just throwing a bunch of weird random crap at this, you, but that's really how the trailer went. <laughs> there, there's even demons, apparently. Like, like if they do this right, this will probably be one of the best high-budget, like, survival horror games ever. 
I mean, uh, I, I'm going to have nightmares about this. How about you, Ramon? I think it reminds me of Silent Hill a lot. The problem yes. is, every time they promise you one of the know, best good. survival horror games ever, it it never seems to deliver. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a very short list of games that are actually scary. Like 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 Ramon said, Ramon the Ravenous said, uh, Silent Hill. You know, Silent Hill is a scary game. Nobody can say it's not scary. The new one looks good. Mm, yeah, I'm yeah. looking forward to that. Yeah, there was another trailer. Oh yeah, The Last of Us. Uh, I got a bad PS3 just to play that game. I, uh, you know, after seeing this new trailer, I, I look at the game completely different than I did beforehand. I'm, I'm actually intending to buy it now. Before I was like, no. Nah, I thought great. it was just another like platformer, you know, and like they were gonna just throw some. I thought it was gonna be another you and this girl going around. You're zombies, you're the only two survivors. This new trailer showed actual like communities of people living in this post-apocalyptic mm-hmm. world, and there was great voice acting, great story. I, I can't wait to play it. Ooh, yes. I actually teared up a little. I mean, I mean, before I didn't give a crap about these guys, and now I'm like, I'm like, you go, Ellen Page and generic action guy. <laughs> it it reminds me a lot of Uncharted. I think Ooh. it'll be, give Uncharted some competition. Well, well they're made by the same developer. Yeah, so, but I mean, it's going to be a competition, though. It's the exact same team, I think. If you're only, the exact same team? Yep. Yeah. If, you're, if your only competition is yourself, you're doing something right. <laughs> well, if it, I thought it was going to be different teams. If it's a different team, then, you know, they could just compete against each other. But if it's the same team, then no uh, mind. Well, in, in the gaming industry, you even got to compete against other teams as your own company nowadays. A lot of these yeah. people are getting laid off. It's getting cutthroat out there. Yeah, there's a lot of developers that are just cutting half of their development teams, and I mean a lot of that because it's it's That's more about explosion and graphics and textures now than it is actual gameplay and the story. Sadly, and you don't need many people to do that. Just just today, in fact, we heard that uh, the entire team behind the new GoldenEye remake and 007 Legends, uh, I can't recall their name at the moment, which is probably a bad thing. They they all got laid off. They they made they made a good they made a good James Bond game and they're gone. The, they're in X Studio. It's, oh, God, the thing sad. I'm starting to like notice a lot in the gaming industry is that these teams they make a great game, but then right after the game is released, they just can the uh, entire team that worked on it. Like okay. LA Noir. It's okay. Thanks for uh, paving the way, guys. Now, that'll be now we can just pay some people less money to uh, make a sequel to your work that isn't going to compare. Hey, That's team, what's been going on? Hey, Team Bondi. Thanks for making L.A. Noir. You made us buttloads of money this year. We're have have a good time finding new jobs. I, I mean, L.A. Noir was probably one of the most groundbreaking games of the last few years. It it changed everything as far as CG goes and you know like I if there was an LA Noir coming out I'd pre-order it immediately that's how much I enjoyed that game yeah so I think it's about time we move back on to our uh, onto our tonight's topic you know let's, let's look through all these categories like best fighting game Persona like, 4 yeah Persona 4 Arena i I'm honestly surprised they they couldn't unseat the institution that is any Capcom game. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Street Fighter X Tekken did not win. Well, Persona might have just as big of a cult following as the Street Fighter games if you yeah. really think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, no, it's, it's oh yeah, best best independent game, Journey, completely just. It just stole everyone's heart, apparently. It, it, I never heard of it before. It, before it, it did some damage in other categories, too. Yeah, yeah. They did pretty good. That's kind of embarrassing for Sony fanboys out there that that was a game. Well, we'll save it. <laughs> yeah, best, yeah, we'll just say it now. Journey got best PS3 game of the year. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Yeah, but in I mean, Sony's opinion. original, uh, it's like Sony exclusive IPs really didn't have much for us this year, though, if you think about it. Yeah, like the new Ratchet and Clank came out <clears throat> yesterday, basically. At, they, they, had, they, didn't, they didn't have time to even get nominated. 
and uh, Far Cry it, 3 should have been up there somewhere. So, it's too late though. It's yeah. not an exclusive though. So that's probably why they didn't. Assassin's Creed and Borderlands 2 and Dishonored not either. They Look, I think Far Cry 3 would have been a contender for Game of the Year if uh, it had time to be nominated. Best, uh, it should have been up there best shooter too as well. Yeah, well. Well, let's talk about one winner that deserved any kind of attention, period. And this one brings a tear to my eye. XCOM Enemy Unknown, PC <laughs> Game of the Year. That was a great game. Oh, uh, it's been it's been so long since a good strategy game that wasn't Civilization rolled around, and and th- this one like this one had me at the edge of my seat from beginning to end. Like any any strategy game that can do that is you 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 did your job right. <laughs> there were, there was times where I was playing XCOM that I was actually like physically and emotion like I was under physical and emotional duress. Like I, w- I was, I was actually, I actually felt worried every time I sent my squad out there, and you know when when they were on the uh, ship, drop ship, getting ready to go into battle, it's kind of like you're just hoping they'd all come back alive. And if if you did make a mistake and one of your guys got killed, in XCOM, once they're dead, that's it, they're gone. They are and dead. So it, it it's a running joke that you name all your squad mates after you know like close personal friends of yours, and it makes things a little interesting. And uh, Mike here actually, he was a uh, your got your people can earn nicknames as the game progresses, and you know they have a lot of battle experience. And this guy was Roadblock. He was a brick shit house. He used to, like he he couldn't. I am die. honored to be named after a transformer. <laughs> he was a G.I. Joe, too. <laughs> Who was actually being played by The Rock in uh, the, the new G.I. Joe movie. But yeah, well, we're still on XCOM. I beat it recently, and and uh, Chris Doomsday lasted right up to the end. That's right. You. You. <laughs> Shine on, you crazy diamond. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, right. I, I I made it all the way, to, or did I die in the end, or did I survive the entire campaign? You died at the very last mission. Huh. You I still died. You died. I, at least I saw the war through, though. Yes, you did. <laughs> but that's okay. I had a I had a ridiculous kill count. Now let, let's look at this. Let's look at this uh, PC game of the year list again. Let, let's look, let's look at what else we got here. Diablo three. Eh, too controversial. We're not gonna take you. Everyone hates you, Diablo. Go away. <laughs> no, just kidding, Diablo fans. I like Diablo. Torchlight 2. Out of here. You're not well known enough. We don't like you either. They even snubbed Guild Wars 2. Guild Wars 2 is a great game. Yeah, it's 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 set to maybe revolutionize the entire MMO industry. Like, completely turn it on its head along with all this free-to-play games trickling in. And it got snubbed. You know, I, I really think That's games like Guild Wars, and I really appreciate what they're doing, because it's, it's probably going to start a trend, and eventually I think we're going to see an end to subscription services. It already did. Now, I don't know if Elder Scrolls Online could be subscription or not. Uh, they, I got to find this. They've said it's the subscription so far. Yeah. Well, well, we'll see what happens when that, come, when that mean, one comes out. Who, who out there still is subscription? It's the Final World Fantasy, World MMOs, Craft. and World of Warcraft, right? World of Warcraft is going to go free to play eventually. I don't know how they're going to do it, but they're going to do it eventually. Rift, yeah. Rift, I believe, is still... Uh... Oh, yeah, Rift is. But they're still making a little bit of money, so I guess they're trying to soak it in before they go. Yeah. All right. Now now, now on to some other, other fun snubs. This one personally hurts me and Chris, but... Best individual sports game. Let's go through the nominees real quick, all right? Yeah, we have uh, we have Hot Shots Golf World <laughs> Invitational. <laughs> we got, <laughs> I can't even say that one with a straight face. <laughs> I got Tiger Woods Tour PGA Tour 13, Two WW, golf games. WWE 13, and the winner for all of the money, which is none. SSX, the 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 new, the new snowboarding reboot. How did WWE fanboys let that happen? 
What? How, how did that? How SSS did UFC? How did UFC fanboys on Spike what? not let the, not let Undisputed Three get on that list? Here's, here's UFC what I think. does have a lot of fanboys. Like to point the finger and be the conspiracy guy, but Spike was not about to let the UFC get credit on their network, especially after the UFC just pretty much told Spike to piss off. Oh, so while we're on that drama, they're actually bringing back a uh, their their own their own UFC show, their own MMA show. What was it called? It was Bellator MMA. They're they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're taking to dig back at the Ultimate Fighter, but uh, Spike. Yeah. But but complete and total snub. <laughs> And it's really a crime because UFC Undisputed, that was one of my favorite games this year. But again, THQ went under. They make a great game, but they can't afford to keep their doors open after the game launches. Hey, hey, Chris, remember that, remember that time earlier this year where we were playing Undisputed 3? It was what, the the featherweight the featherweight match? And my Chinese food guy here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he would, I, I forget what we were playing. I think I was playing, uh, what was his name? I don't know, but but I was I was completely ripping him apart in this match, and then we got into the, like the third round. He was just standing there, just just, just at his ready position, knocked him down, went in for the submission, done. <laughs> it's a good thing he can lean on the Chinese food excuse because <laughs> he wasn't going to last much longer. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I think we need to have a live rematch <laughs> right here on the channel. <laughs> someday, someday we we need it needs to be seen broadcasted to all four of our fans. <laughs> <laughs> but have you guys actually sat there and played a WWE game with four people and went to Fatal Four Way before? That has got to be like the funnest fighting game. I owned WrestleMania for the Nintendo 64, and that was the last time that I've ever owned a WWE game. But that WrestleMania for the N64, I forget which one it was. It was a black cartridge. That was probably like one of it's said to be one of the best wrestling games of all time. Well, yeah, but if you look, if you look at the wrestling games now, or whatever. Like I used to go to school, and this guy was like a wrestling fan or whatever. He was just like addicted to wrestling, and he had his ex, he had an Xbox or whatever. He bought WWE 12, or it was 11. I don't know what it was. And people you wouldn't even think about playing a game. So we all play it. We all do a fatal four way. We all pick a people that we know or whatever, and we sit there and play the game for like three hours straight. It's like freaking the, the matches are like take forever because you see somebody trying to pin somebody, then the other guy will come and beat you up. I'm like, come on, man, I'm trying to hit the pin. And then they come <laughs> jump this guy, and then you got to go jump the other guy. And then while everybody's fighting, then that one guy that comes and wins. So like those game, those kind of games right there are like really fun to play with, with like your best friends. I don't know about a game itself, but I know playing with people you know. Well, game can actually be fun. in uh, the UFC Undisputed games, you can actually individually control each one of your limbs. Yep. yep. Each each button. I didn't play the new UFC, so I can't. It's kind of it, like Tekken, but more but more intricate. You talking about the new? You talking about new UFC or yep. UFC period? Uh, Undisputed three, the the latest one. Well, the whole uh, un, the whole undisputed series. You can. Well, yeah, I played. I played number. My fact, no, I did play number three. I'm I'm tripping. I did play number three. That's the one with uh. Anderson, Anderson Silva on the f- cover. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I did play that one. I I rented it yeah. and then I bought it back with, with the well placed foot to the face right on the cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good hey, game. Hey guys, I have a I have another crime for you. Best adapted video game. You know who was on the list? Hold on, let me pull up the list. Where is it at? I, I, see it. The, I know the Amazing Spider Man was not on the list, oh, but I, I can tell I can tell you who was and who didn't win. And it's a shame they didn't. Uh, uh, okay, please. I hope you're not about to say what I think you're about to say. Just Transformers. Say oh, what the heck? Come, on. <laughs> Come on, man. I said Walking Dead deserved that, that at least. Walking, yeah, Walking Dead got it, but you know, after it swept every other one, you know, it's like, come on. <laughs> Look at this competition, though. He had freaking Cybertron epic was making. probably one of the most intense gaming experiences I could remember this year. Fall of Cybertron was pretty epic, yeah. <laughs> when, uh, the, the moment when you got to control Grimlock, and the first time you turned into a dying... Be Grimlock, be smash! Oh, my God. 
<laughs> it just brought my like childhood fanboy out. I'm, but look, look at the competition they had: freaking Epic Mickey two and Lego Batman two. I mean, it was pretty much just Transformers versus Walking Dead in that one. Come on, I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of ashamed they didn't. Oh, that's right, they didn't come out of the woodwork this year because this year it's not viewer voting. They have a council this year. <laughs> the council. The council. This council has spoken. <laughs> uh, probably just a bunch of nerds in an office somewhere. Yeah, this this council must be like really jerking off The Walking Dead because they swept everything. Yeah, it was best but... best downloadable game, game of the year, best. Let me see. They had they had best performance by best performance by a human male. They were they they were nominated best performance by a human female. They won for Melissa Hutchinson's Clementine. Uh, best independent game. No, that was How Journey. Cortana didn't win. I don't know. How what? Cortana didn't win. I know. I, I didn't even I didn't even touch Halo Four, and yet I was wondering why her or or even female Shepard didn't win. How about Call of Duty not winning Shooter of the Year for once? I, 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 I emerged in raucous applause when I heard that it didn't it, get in. And get people this. eyes opening it up was, now. It wasn't Halo either. And and Halo I'm, and Call of Duty did not get Shooter of the Year. Borderlands Two, I love you. <laughs> Just putting it out there. I think Borderlands Two and Halo Four probably went neck to neck in that one. Oh yes, yes. I am so happy for that one, because because Borderlands is it's not an established franchise. I mean, it is now, but it was just one game done really good. It's Diablo with guns, pretty much. Yeah, the the first one got a little bit of press. It had its TV trailers, but it wasn't really you know like that big of a deal. But two, uh, they 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 really put the marketing money on this one, and it, it's paying off for them. Two, they were smart. With two, they did a great online experience that just wasn't that, like copy and pasted Call of Duty team deathmatch style. They really right. like made their own online experience, and I think that's why they were so successful. I would like to see, uh, but well, I, I got a feeling that the next one. I heard a rumor that it's going to be like actual like team deathmatch in Borderlands. That would be fun to look at. Oh, that would be fun. Like just playing like online against people, like thirty-two people in the sixteen versus sixteen team deathmatch, <laughs> Borderlands. You know what would be even better? Borderlands create your own gun. But they got so many guns out now that you only have to create your own gun to tell you the truth. Yeah, you could like you could put a million in, guns. You you could put in a gun customizer, but yeah. Let's move on to my last criminal omission of the night. So so we let's go let's go to original best original score. So we had we had uh, Call of Duty Black Ops two, Halo four, Max Payne three, and the winner is Journey. <laughs> Can no no, no no don't 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 laugh at Journey winning. Can you gentlemen tell me what's missing from this picture? Mass Effect. Uh, what 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 would you say, Chris? Uh, I'm not sure. You already know what you're going to say, Chris. Stop lying. Just, yeah. just don't look at around the bush. We I'm, know you too well. I'm <laughs> trying not to be a fanboy here. We, we, you can be a fanboy about this one. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> when, no, I think it's, because, when did because Skyrim they, come out? It came out Skyrim, last year, didn't it? Skyrim was last year, yes. Okay. Yeah, they, And you can be a fanboy about this one because they really pulled out all the stops. Just, just, just make your mouth say the words. Did you not... Put it at least on the nomination list for best original <laughs> score. Yeah, I'm like I, I said it before, and I'll say it again. I'm not going to give anything away to people who had for the you know those three people that haven't played Mass Effect three yet in <laughs> in a desert in a cave somewhere. Um, but that scene where you're on the Rachni, uh, it's not the Rachni world. You run into them again, and you actually run into your old pal Grunt. And <laughs> there's a moment there on that planet with the score. I'm and feeling manly already. Stop. <laughs> combined with what's going on in the scene in that score, that was probably one of the more powerful moments in that entire trilogy. 
America! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> like, to this day, I can't watch that scene without getting, like... I'll, I'll get like at least a quarter chub going. You get him, man. You get him. I need. I need to play Mass. I need to play uh, Mass Payne Three. I keep hearing a lot about it. I haven't even played it yet. Yeah, I keep hearing a lot about that too. Actually, it has made it, it, it's been a sleeper in a lot of categories. I, 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 I heard. To it. I heard there was a good number of people who really didn't like it because because he just started drinking and lost his like snarkiness. Hmm. Oh hey! Oh, here's one I didn't notice before. <laughs> Best social game. Uh. <laughs> no, no, this is this is this one actually I kind of liked. Sim- we have draw something by OMG Pop. Draw something is good. That's actually a good game. <laughs> yeah, we have Marvel Avengers Alliance. For for the record, this is stuff you like play on like Facebook. Yeah. We we have we have by play dumb. I never even heard of them, but you know I saw them. I saw them advertised on my Avengers Blu-ray set. Cause come on, I had to get that Blu-ray. Speaking of Avengers, how about this uh, new MMO coming out? Uh uh-uh, uh it's horrible. Don't get it. <laughs> Sorry, enough, no, but enough is said. That, is that the is that the Marvel game that that comes out where you actually have to play the hero and you can't make your own person? Yeah, that 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 was in. That was in a uh, what was it? Uh, that was the one for the Connect. But no, 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 no. It's it's actually like an MMO, but it's like a Marvel one. But you actually play the uh, you actually play heroes that are already made. Like oh, picture. Well, well, you have to remember that they did one where you play as your own character, and a lot of people didn't like that because you were basically playing like Superman's errand boy. What? They need they need to be able to make the game where you basically you about, are you DC Universe. Yeah. Well, yeah, but this is it's, Marvel though, so it's let me... it's it's, it's an, you know like I'm not I'm not trashing on DC Universe. It's a good game, but it turns off a lot of people because it it wasn't you know you were basically playing Superman or Joker's Milkman. Hey Chris, are you talking about Marvel Heroes? Yeah. That's yeah, that yeah, that's the game. It like you actually have, you actually play as like Spider Man and Hulk. Like you pick and they're the uh, they're the classes. There you go. Oh, I see. I didn't know that. I thought it was a kind yeah. of like make your own hero. Uh, it, it's an MMO and it's free to play. But, but, you, but you you're only limited to you only you only can make a hero. You can't even make your own hero. Like that's why I didn't like it. Like you can't make your own hero. Like you play as like Spider Man, then you get like a I don't know about skill trees. I don't know how that works exactly, but I was like what? See, I feel like that's kind of lazy. It yeah. is because it's like I mean the game looks. But again, you you run into that that problem where you're Superman's milk boy. You know, you you can't you have to be able to like be like the important hero. You can't you and with Marvel yeah. Universe, you you have a set of established heroes. It's really hard to. To balance it out to make the player feel important, but I mean that's the whole point of playing video games like that, so you can feel like the badass. Well, on this topic more, DC Universe could have been a groundbreaking MMO, but well, they just didn't do a good job with it. Like I heard this, the Quickster, the Flash, or whatever. I heard he was broken in the game. Like that super speed was broken. They didn't. It seemed like they did a lazy job with the game. That game had a lot of potential. I liked it a lot when it first came uh, out. Ah, uh, I, I think I think it I think it's uh, a good time to move on to probably one of the most controversial ones of the night, even more so than Game of the Year, because because both Entertainment Weekly and the VGAs were pres- presumptuous enough to declare the best video game of the decade. Or rather, not we, not they were presumptuous enough. Or rather, we were presumptuous enough. <laughs> so, so we have your list of the nominees, and and I actually and I actually agree with most of them. Well, only one of them is a real standout no to me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna uh, say it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, no, my my pick's different than yours. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we have Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker. Half Life Two, World of Warcraft, Shadow of the Colossus, Mm-mm. Wii Sports. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Wii Sports. Wii Sports. Wii Sports was pro. Wii Sports Wii was prolific. Let's let's yeah. move on. 
but let me get the whole list out. <laughs> Bioshock, Portal, Mass Effect 2, Red Dead Redemption, and Batman Arkham City. Yo. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, pretty much every game on this list, to, to me, seem prolific in some way. I would even I would even say Legend of Zelda the Wind Waker, even though it didn't really affect the landscape, was prolific in that it dared to like be different, you know? There's yeah. there's only there's only one game on this list that that really doesn't evoke much of a reaction from me. And 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 sadly for you, R- Ramon, because yeah, I know you might really like this game, but it's the first Bioshock. <laughs> Bioshock? That, yeah, that's... That, I, don't, I don't know. It just didn't really feel very Portal strongly about it. Spot, but Bioshock doesn't? Come on. I didn't, I didn't feel very strongly about it one way or the other, you well, know? I, I just posted next year's most anticipated game. Yes. The, uh, page right there, if you guys look. Yep. Yeah, I'm looking at right now. Bioshock's in there. A lot yeah. of people like Bioshock. A lot no, of on, uh, on the, the picture on the feed. That's next year's most anticipated game. Yep. Shut yep. up. <laughs> Call of Duty Black Cops. <laughs> Call on Duty. Oh, crap. <laughs> Call of Duty Black Cops. <laughs> uh, Back to that. Uh, you so witty, Chris the Crazy Irishman. <laughs> oh, my God. I have, like, pages and pages of memes. It's, it's insane. <laughs> <laughs> back to the uh... alright alright Chewbacca let's get back on track alright like, like I said you know, let's look at this list uh, some of these have to be have to be like n- just to stand up no to you to you guys so the actual winner was Half-Life 2 but you know let's but you know um, I have my own opinion on it but what, what, what do you guys have to say about it uh, like the last ten, years, I I would I'm gonna sound like a fanboy again. I would have given it to Mass Effect too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, come on, just defend your choice, justify it. You know that this is this is a show about talking. We have Wait. Mass Effect two. I think it changed everything as far as that whole genre goes. It 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 it, it raised the bar. Like 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 how near like. As far as the narrative goes, as, as far as the like the narrative and choice goes, and it like notice a lot of shooters have taken from the combat style of Mass Effect Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love Mass Effect Two. Probably has one of the my favorite like final levels of all time. Like end of story. <laughs> like all all you have to do is take that and play the play the Mega Man Two like first. First Fortress song, and right over that, that's my perfect like ending level. <laughs> anyway, what what what's your take on this, uh, Ramon? Well, I had a couple that could have made it. Uh, well, I say maybe like three. Wow, could have been in there just from the MMO. Oh yeah, World of Warcraft Genre. is right is on the list, but they didn't win. They revolutionized that most definitely. I mean, we all know this. Even the people that hate World of Warcraft know that it all started there. Uh, I, I was actually an old EverQuest player myself, so yeah, they did change big time. <laughs> Batman Arkham City did it for action games. They did they revolutionized a lot with the Spoiler system alert. having the counters. Batman. Spoiler alert: The what? Joker is your father. You no, know, he <laughs> brings up, he brings up a good point though. How did Arkham City like not? If you even like, you know, I, I don't know. I think it should have gotten a lot more attention. Look at all, pretty much like. Arkham action. City was on last year's list. That's any, why. Any game that's out now, if you notice, that has come out after the Arkham Asylum game that involves beating the crap out of your Copying enemies of is pretty much like a carbon copy of the combat system. Batman, Batman <laughs> Arkham City was the first one to do that. Well, Arkham Asylum was the first one to do that. Uh-huh. Assassin's yeah. Creed Three. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, well, yeah. Well, well, Assassin's Creed came. Which one came out first, Batman or Assassin's Creed? Batman. Well, Batman like, came out first. Like, Assassin's Creed. Like uh, Assassin's Creed Three's combat system in particular was straight out oh, of yeah, Arkham yeah, City. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the first, the first like 
five or six games with their own system, but then they pretty much lifted Batman's system like tit for tat. No, that, but the Batman worst one took was... a lot from Assassin's Creed too, but they they kind of did their own thing with it though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sleeping Dogs by far. That was that. That was a car of coffee. Nobody could say that wasn't. That yeah. it, it felt like well, I was playing Batman in that game. Well, in I'm Batman, you can, again. I. I have to I have to root for sleeping dogs because in Batman you cannot show so the dude's face. Air <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Batman right. didn't take advantage of the environment a lot in that game though, like he right. like he could. So yeah, let, 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 let's 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 move on from the snubbed games and and let's look at the actual winner, which which was Half Life Two. I thought it very much deserved it, not just for the actual game. But but for for the profound effect, it's just its source code had on the entire like internet culture. I mean, you can't walk five feet without running into a portal joke or a or a Team Fortress Two montage of some kind. That's it's true. It's everywhere, and it's and it all originated from Half Life 2's code, which also launched Steam. Like it didn't launch Steam, but it put Steam on the map because in order to play this game, you had to get Steam. Well, isn't Steam owned by Valve? Exactly. That's why they. Yeah. That, that was the very beginning of Steam. They, they had they had to use it as DRM for Half Life Two, and there was a lot of ballyhoo about that at the time. But it's I'm pretty sure what Play Online service was supposed to be. Yeah. That, yeah notice how that's uh, not really around anymore, except for one game. Yeah, it was only ever one. Oh, that and the Tetra Master card game. <laughs> and and the. Uh, Final Fantasy IX Brady Player's Guide. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what do you guys think about that pick for Half Life Two? And remember, we voted for it. No, 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 no shadowy council of nations said so. Well, I mean, I can understand. Uh, I mean, Half Life Two has an insane internet following. Like it's 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 crazy how many people like this game. So I mean, I, I'm not surprised. I mean, it's not my choice for best of the decade, but <laughs> but I can't even go to sleep some nights without seeing G-Man's face, and I don't think I'll be able to sleep for a week combined with that and Phantom Pain, just stuck in my head, just assaulting my consciousness. <laughs> uh, how, how, how about you, Ramon? What do you what do you think about Half Life Two? I can't really say that much about it. I never played it before, but from the big dealers making, I guess I can see how a lot of people love Half Life Two. They even got like a petition for Half Life Three come. Uh, I think <laughs> so. It's like it must be that good. I'm gonna play it one day though, but I can't really say that much on that topic. Well, part of the reason the Half Life Three thing is so good is because the last Half Life game, Episode Two. Yeah, yeah, cliffhanger. Yeah, cliffhanger. It. They just and this is in 2007. It, it, this is almost as much like this is almost as bad as Shenmue 2's cliffhanger because <laughs> at least this one we know they could just get off their ass and make it <laughs> and it will make money but they're not doing it they're literally doing everything in their power to not make it they're like oh let's make more Team Fortress 2 oh let's make let's make two Left 4 Dead games let's make Portal 2 oh how about we try working on Dota 2 now you know That's what I'm surprised good. didn't make even contention for Game of the Decade? And this is a game that revolutionized RPGs forever. And that was the original Knights of the Republic game. It didn't revolutionize, but it certainly popularized the Western RPG. I don't think I don't think Oblivion or Mass Effect would have had nearly as good of a following without the power of Star Wars taking I mean, the lead. The original Night Seal Republic should at least have been mentioned. I I agree with you. It should have been on this list. Actually, let me look at something. It came out in 2003. I already looked it up. Yeah, I think these are done by year. Yeah, let's look at Half-Life 2 real quick. This was released uh, 2000, 2004 for PC. And Shadow of the Colossus, I believe, was 2006. Yeah, two, oh, that was 2005. Yeah, yeah, that's Sorry, really weird. Feel old, man. <laughs> think, think you feel old. God. 
Like, I don't know. I just remember racing home from school so I, I could play Shadow of the Colossus again. I, I have in my hands the Kirby's Dream Collection. The, Kirby is 20 years old, and I remember playing the first game on my old giant-ass Game Boy like it was like last year. It's... I, I was going through my uh, closet last week, and I found my uh, years. I found my gold copy of Ocarina of Time. All right, and I guess, I guess there's one more th- thing we should talk. Two more things we should talk about. Well, I guess one more really, but yeah, character of the year. Again, this is this is the one the fans mm. actually voted on, instead of the stupid. Uh, Said the stupid XCOM council. <laughs> Take away America's funding, will you, stupid council? I'll teach you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my game actually. Uh, America pulled out funding, but that, that's not that. We we had we had a, we had a list of good, of good, of pretty good things, and and I'm actually okay with the result. <laughs> but you, as I understand it, you two aren't. Because let's let's look at this list. We got Raul Menendez, Menen- ah, Spanish from Call of Duty Black Ops Two. <laughs> uh. We had we had Master Chief, Halo Four. He actually decided to start talking. And and by the way, each one of these, and it's like it's it's media tradition to have like little vignettes for the character of the year. And and they're all, they're always good fun. They're speaking, they're usually more classy than of Raul. How funny was the scene where he got headbutted by Samuel L. Jackson? <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, we have Verbal Menendez, Master Chief, Connor, whatever his last name is. <laughs> Just say Command- Connor. Commander, Ooh. Commander, motherfucking Shepard. Because See, but here's the thing with Shepard. I actually don't agree with that because Shepard wasn't a character per se. He was. He was an avatar. Yeah, he was kind of like a personification of you. In, in fact, game. he didn't have to be a he. Yeah, I, I would act, I would actually argue that that the female version was actually a much better voice actor in the long run. Commander Sp- Shepard was uh, he was more what? of an idea. Yeah. No, but in there and uh, how they had it, it was it was Commander Shepard in general, meaning the person you play as female or girl. I mean, female or male, because they got the chick up there yep. too in the picture. Yep. So it was yep. just Commander Shepard. So I can see how they did it. That character that you see is what they were voting for, pretty much. The female voice ap- actor for uh, Commander Shepard. She has a she, resume a mile long. She actually did the voice acting for the female um, Vanguard in uh, the female Commando in the Old Republic MMO. Ho- hold on, let me just let, let me just shame you in your knowledge right right now, because I've played way too many games with this lady's voice. <laughs> yeah, yes, but you could actually be a female. I ran into a female vanguard named Shepard, and let's, when I did a cutscene with her, it was the same voice. I was like, "No way!" Let, let Let's go through a list of games she was in: Star Wars, X Wing versus Tie Fighter, uh, Baldur's Gate, Metal Gear Solid. She was she was Doctor Hunter. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get uh, Star Wars Force Commander, but ba- Baldur's Gate Two, obviously, yeah. Uh, Spider-Man from I, from 2000. I think that was the movie game. No, uh, maybe it was. I don't know. Uh, Grandia one. two. Grandia two. Uh, I don't know. Let me see. Here. Metal Gear Solid two, obviously. Uh, shoot. Eh. Lapus. Uh, I, I need, I'm trying to. Fu- I'm trying to look for games she was actually like, like known for. Like Metroid Prime. She was Samus Aran. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, all the Jedi Knights, Knights of the Old Republic games. Uh, she was in that Hobbit game from from two thousand three. That was terrible. Oh my god! I hey, you need you you, you need to get money sometimes. Killer Seven, uh, EverQuest Two, Bard's Tale, the the remake from two thousand four. This list goes on and on. It's literally ridiculous. It's it's fr- she started work in nineteen ninety four for Quest for Glory Four. Let me see. Uh, oh yeah, she was actually in Halo Four. <laughs> she even she was in Call of Duty Black Ops Two, Guild Wars, Di- Diablo Three. She was Leah. She could literally you could literally populate that entire mm. list with just Happen. with just her. <laughs> oh, and she was in uh, the Old Republic. 
as as Satil Shotten and some other characters. She played multiple characters in New Republic. Yeah, you, she, this this lady has like the craziest resume ever. Hmm. It's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, but ultimately, the win the winner the people picked was Claptrap from Borderlands Two, the ever lovable lump of metal. <laughs> You you two have you gentlemen have anything to say? Cause I, I never really it, played much Borderlands two, so I couldn't comment on that. But I would have went with Connor. Assassin's Creed three wasn't necessarily the best game of the year, but oh man, I thought Connor's character yeah. was awesome. Yeah, I I, I would have per- personally just because of what games I played, I would have went with either Shepard or Claptrap actually. But uh, what, what do you gotta say about this, Ramon? Claptrap, you hear me? Black Claptrap. Character Hello? of the year. Hello? Yeah, you. Okay, okay, okay. You're, you're, no, my, my mic wasn't working at first. Okay. Ah. Uh, All right, but, uh, live, everybody. <laughs> uh, let's see. Claptrap. No. Well, I'm biased, but of course I'm going to pick Matthew Chief. <laughs> but I have backup because his little cutscene was the best out of all of this. Yes, the vignettes. When he, when he fell out when he fell out the chair when he said <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Master Chief was just sitting there, sitting on his ass, like leaning leaning back in a chair, watching some T V. And then and Katana's like, Yeah, uh should you like uh get ready for the show? It's like I don't and Master Chief was basically like going like, I don't give a crap. <laughs> it was funny. But you were nominated. What well, wait? And then he just fell on his ass. But yeah. No, no, he said, no, he said, uh, he said, uh, Samuel Jackson's giving off the award. He said, what? And that's what he said. <laughs> Commander Shepard's little vignette was my favorite, and sound effects were courtesy of you, courtesy of the crazy Irishman. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Commander Shepard's was my favorite, because, you know, you had him, his, his, his female persona, and... Garrus. Garrus. Like this, 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 this almost brings up some really weird, like Freudian brain concepts. Like, like, <laughs> like, like, like. There's his ego, his super ego, his id, <laughs> and then they're just they're just playing Mass Effect Three multiplayer with each other. You know, they're just like, and then they're like, yeah, it's like, by the way, guys, didn't you get nominated? And they're like, oh shit, let's abandon the game. <laughs> it, it was stupid. It was stupid, but I liked it. Can, 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 can you give me sound effects, please? <laughs> please. That's, that's Chris, not me. I know. He knows who he is. <laughs> but yeah, ultimately, winner was Claptrap, the the adorable little robot. Unfortunately, if you play no. Borderlands Two, it's kind of annoying. I I kind of he was kind of annoying, but they but he's intentionally annoying because whenever he's whenever he's done with his little spiel. Yeah, he's around. You can just proceed to kick the crap out of him. All right, let's let's come up with our own little award right now. Let's do right. it. Most annoying supporting characters Ooh. of all time. Of all time, I'm going with your your support cast from Star Fox sixty four. <laughs> Slippy. Just say Slippy. <laughs> All of them. Fuck, go ahead and do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> help, help me, Fox! Help me! Do a barrel roll. Do oh, a, my God. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> I, I remember my, my uncle was babysitting me one time, and I literally played Star Fox the whole time. He was just so annoyed. That game was so hard, though. It was so hard when I was small. I could never beat it. You know who annoyed me for some odd reason? Fuka from Persona 3. Did you guys ever see what happens when you type in a, do a barrel roll on Google? Yeah, yeah, Google spins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. My my pick for this one, it's Fuka. I don't know why. Her, her, her pitch just annoyed me. I love the game, but every time she like opened her mouth, like, your health is low, you should heal. Thanks. I got it. <laughs> but uh, what, what about you guys? Uh, Come on, work with me, guys. Pokemon. Pokemon. Freaking. I want to know one thing. How did Professor Oak know when you were going to pull out your bike in the, in the house? Like, he would just call you and say, you know you can't ride that bike there, right? 
<laughs> Remember that? I seen the picture about it. And Stalking it had, you. <laughs> it had Professor Oak, and then the picture says, I know where you are, and you can't ride the bike there. I it's got really like thought about that before. It's the future, dude. He knows everything. The second you get on that bike, you post it to Facebook or Twitter. He, <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, by the way, uh, join our Facebook or Twitter account if we have one. <laughs> yeah, uh, I made it. Uh, we have. We officially are on Facebook now, linked with our YouTube channel. So, uh, yeah, if you people like, you know, watching some Let's Plays, getting some honest game reviews. Which we will be doing today, maybe, right? right? Yeah, I think we're going to be putting episode yeah. two up. Yeah, yeah. But uh, like I was saying, if you guys are looking for an honest, unbiased reviews, if you want us to see some Let's Plays where we just goof off and play video games and have fun, you're yeah. more than welcome to join. Subscribe to our channel. We're always uploading new videos, and we yeah. have a ton of trailers. Oh, way too, we trailer. have way too many trailers. You went overboard with the trailers, bro. You, <laughs> like literally, I think you hit every single upcoming movie ever. I think I, I think I saw a trailer in there for like eight ro different romantic comedies. I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I I didn't touch the romantic comedies. I I, I tried. Are you hit, sure? I tried to hit our demographic <laughs> for the channel. Romantic comedies, all. Pretty much minus world. It. It is what it is. It's your place to come, and everything you give a shit about is going to be right in front of you, and that's the goal for our channel. And uh, yep. I think we're doing a pretty good job at that. Yep, yep. I think I think it's time to wrap up, guys. Uh, but yeah, for look, look, you can look forward for me. Uh, I'm gonna try and do a Dishonored Let's Play. Let's see how well that goes. Uh, we also have our always entertaining Far Cry 3 Let's Play. We may add to that tonight. Uh, it depends how we're feeling after this. Uh, and maybe if I get off my ass and do some editing, you'll have a good XCOM review up. <laughs> so I think I think that does it for tonight. Uh, VGAs, well, not, very, not high on class, uh, not high on player choice anymore. I guess we'll, we'll see you in uh, about two weeks on the next Minus World podcast of no name so far. We're going to be bi-weekly coming at you. <laughs> All right, have fun. Good night, all five of you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Stay classy, YouTube. <laughs>